everybody. Welcome to Timeless Food Art. This is Janice. Um, I have to show you. This is what we did the other day. This is the... This is dried, okay? Now, I'm not going to do anything with this yet because I want to be able to do another set to be able to resin all of them. And I'm hoping I have the right resin. I don't know. I have to look that up. Or I might do... You could also use polycrylic on these. That's also a varnish. It's just something that will seal it and you can put hot and cold on. So, depends on what I can find to do. All right. <clears throat> and actually, these I could probably use anyway, hot and cold, because guess what? Nothing bothers. Vinyl. It's vinyl. Acrylic art. They come wrapped in these beautiful um, bubble wrap pieces, of which when I mail them out to somebody, I can put them right back in. Now these would have to be completely, completely dry before any resin's put on. And this here, same thing with the round ones, I have the cork that goes with it. It comes with the package, which is bought at Amazon. All right, so this here is the green, and what you, I mean the, the square, and it goes right on the back here. It just peels off and sticks. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using different colors instead of that purple and green and yellow, which I fell in love with purple. Um, let me just stack these so I don't have to, I don't want to ruin any of these that I already did. And, um, and I'll put these just in my corner over there just to for safekeeping. All right, and then this goes over here. Oh, and I wanted to show you, I cleaned all my, um, let me show you. All my silicone, all my silicone mats. It's baking me, I mean, really clean, you know? takes two seconds underwater just to clean them. Or I think the way I've been doing it now, I just take a little bit of a, um, like a Pampers wet cloth and I wipe it so it's clean and I don't have to deal with it later and have a pile like I had to do today. And I also have, let me put this back over here. I also cleaned all of my straws. So let me show you them. These are the silicone straws that I use. I don't blow it manually because when I do something with any kind of you know, blowing, I'm so short that if I have to bend over, it gets all over me and that's where my shirt's a mess, okay? So, but these cleaned up really nice. You just take, I just took one of those, um, one of these scrub daddy thingies and I just wet it with a little soap and went down and just cleaned them inside and out. So when I blow on them, I don't have to worry about it being dirty. Okay, so just wanted to show you these two things. All right, first things first, let me just move some of these out of the way. These are ceramic, by the way. If dropped, they will break. Let me move them over here and here. And here, I'll bring one at a time to do. And I believe you're, I'm in the scope for you to see. I can't tell if you're going to be in that much. I don't think it's going to be. Uh, let's see. That's straight for you. All right. For some reason, I'm sweating. My, uh, I guess because the sun's right in here. Okay, the base coat first is going to be my interior paint. It's by Glidden, and it is semi-gloss white. And these are new gloves I got. I don't know whether they're going to fit me, but we'll soon find out. Oh yeah, pretty good white. Can't believe it's white. And um, the paints are mixed with a conglomeration, and it's in another one of my videos which will tell you exactly how I make it. But 
I can run by some of the ingredients that I do. Let me find. I always keep a notebook. That's what you need to do too. When you start writing things, when you start doing things, keep a notebook so you know what the heck you did. Because if you don't, you won't know what the, what you did. First of all, I had to make a PM, which I used the um, Sherwin Williams, which you can use a uh, Valspar also. I don't think Sherwin Williams is being used anymore. But one cup of the ultra deep base interior exterior high gloss uh, enamel paint and then a third of a cup of Sonia um, Joe Sonia gloss varnish I mixed it up and then I put a third cup of red min wax the reason why the red min wax is because that basically helps with the cells and then for the paint I used um, basically I take one of these cups half an inch of PM and then I take paint and I squeeze it until you see a peak. Then you put, uh, let me see what I have to do. Oh, if too thick, you could add some red min wax. But then I also put in a few drops of Liquitex ink. For the blue, I use the blue. For the light blue and, and medium blue, I use the blue plus white acrylic ink. For the silver, I use silver. For the gold, the gold. It's just whatever acrylic inks by Liquitex. Few drops of each and if it's too thick you add a little min wax this here today was a little bit too thick and i just added floetrol because it's the silver i don't normally like to use you know anything but gold but okay let me try it and then um for my accelerator i use 12 tablespoons of floetrol uh two tablespoons of paint and one tablespoon of red min wax and then I add four drops of either black or white for the cell accelerator. I call it accelerator because you'll always get cells. It's my mix. So, okay, here we go. Um, I'm not gonna write it down on my ingredients. You just have to just, uh, you know, look for the other, I'm trying to think of the other, um, uh, I can't think of the number of the other row, which we'll call it. That one's, this must be the one that's almost empty, so I'll use this one. I use these containers because they're easier, because I'm, they're easier for me to pour with my, oh wow, well, this is almost empty, so. All right, just a little bit. You don't have to worry about doing the bottoms, because as you see here, It's very little on the bottom so you know once you put the cork on you're fine now let me i do want to write with this little spot here because this little spot is enough for me to get right on my shirt again and to tell you the truth i have enough paint on this shirt uh, i have aprons but aprons i just found to be annoying so you can basically you know Use an apron if you like. All they do is get dirty anyway. Then you have to clean them. And if you don't clean them, then it just builds and builds like mine did. And I just prefer just to just not use one. These clean, you put a throw them in a wash, dryer, no problem. They come out fresh and clean every time, even though the paint's stuck on them. But it's my design. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what I say to my husband. That's my design, honey, no problem. All right, let me go here, put that on that. First one, you always do dark to light, at least I do. It's not a rule, you could do anything you want, but I'm gonna do my, this is Fela Blue by Liquitex. I don't have Fela Blue from um, Amsterdam. This is, I'm trying to think the color. I really, I don't have my paints out here. I can't remember the color, but it's this color. Blue by Amsterdam. And then sky blue by Amsterdam. I love the sky blue, so pretty. I didn't put any yellow in here to make green. I probably should have, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it with the silver, let's see. Put that in there. And I'm 
I'm still going to use my black. Now, if you see the dates on here, these are my dates that I mixed this paint up. April 20th. And today is, what is it? The 28th. These are eight day old paint. The, um, <laughs> this one is new. This was a new um, cell accelerator. And we'll see how it works. I had a bubble there, but that's all right. And let that sink in. I just want to move this a little bit this way. It's not going to be centered. I don't know why it's tilting a little bit. Okay. Get my straw together. I'll use my green one. Watch me blow bubbles. <laughs> uh, you have to wait for it to get the little halo around the... Um, my bubble okay here we go sells every time guaranteed honey and this is with the silver which I haven't I don't remember when I made that up to tell you the truth Weird kind of colors. All right, now I'm going to start throwing some of it off. I want some to hang off the side, but I don't want it all to be on the side. get high. <laughs> that was a little bit too hard. All right. Now with this, you can wipe at the bottom, which I'm just going to use another stick to do that. Wipe a little bit off. And if you notice, it's not much. <clears throat> Twirl it around a little bit, a little bit here. And then just a little bit here. Not much there actually. Let me scoot this over too. There we go. And just a little bit more here. Okay. All right, so this really got a little big blob of that black there. So let me try, well, blow it a little bit more. less black paint I'm thinking next time. Now I could probably go like this and move some of it this way, but there's really not much paint on here to have to be moving. And if you want to do some more of the sides, you can um, take a little bit of the base coat, which I have here, and you can go around and And just drop a little of the paint here, like that, right here. Okay. It'll drop down. A little on this corner, too. Wow. Over here, I'm getting little uh, cool bits, but I don't want that. I'm going to 
cover that up with a little bit of white. I don't like the little lines there. All right, I think it's good everywhere else. Let me see just a little here. All right, I'm not particularly not my favorite, but uh, you know. That's my husband getting his ice. Now I'm gonna move these out of the way. Now I'll move this over here. Take my stand with it. Okay. I've got a few drops here, so I'm gonna just take my finger. Move this out of the way. Add another drop there. After I added the white. Here. I just have a lot more paint this time, and uh, sorry, I did. <laughs> okay, now I don't need to do this and wipe it off each time, but I'm going to because I want it nice and clean. And yes, I go through these a lot. We got them because when the toilet paper was kind of low, and we were trying to get you know, these sanitary things to wipe things. Uh, oh, excuse me, found out we cannot use it in the toilet. So, we got it to other purposes now. So, all right, here we go. Put you in here. Okay, base coat. I'm getting low on this. Gotta buy some more base coat. Whoa, a little bit too much there. I need to just keep a few of these suckers out of here without me having to make noise. All right. I don't need to cover that now. All righty. Let's move it. You know, I know a lot of you people now are finding out my music. You find my music on YouTube and in iTunes and Amazon, which I appreciate, thank you. And uh, what you didn't know though, was I've been in movies. Did you ever hear the movie Pain and Gain with Mark Wahlberg and um, The Rock? And I'm trying to think about Michael Anthony. These actors are great. Anyway, we, um, we're in the movie. I'm in the court scene at the very end behind Ed Harris. And I, got, I was a paid extra. And what's really cool, they did a little bit of my makeup. They did my hair. And the buffet they gave you to eat. Oh my God. It was like, God, fit for, I, I felt like I was a star. That's, that was how funny it was. And then, um, One scene that we did like 20 times, they cut. And we were supposed to walk up and down in front of the Dade County um, in Florida police station. Well, let me tell you, it was an old police station that they had closed. And I'll try this one. Nah, I guess I'll stick with the one I started with. Um, it was closed, so the courthouse, you know, we go up and down it about 20 times, and it was like 90 degrees out. We all looked like drowned rats by the time the 15th um, walk was. I mean, up and down in front of the, uh, the courthouse. I don't know what the purpose was, but it showed them coming out of the courthouse and other people coming out. And we were like bystanders on the side. And I'm like, damn, I don't, you know, it's like, I'm sweating my you know what off. And then to be caught on the on bathroom floor. The another movie I'm in is called Rescue Me. Um, if you go on IMDB, I actually had a line in that movie and that ended up on the uh, cutting floor also. Uh, but it's called Rescue Me. And uh, you just do Janice Brown in IMDB, you'll see that. 
not doing any more movies since we moved so far away from where the action is. So, anyway. But that's, you know, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Jack of all trades, master of none. So, you know, and I am a real artist, you know, fine artist. And I do like doing that, but it takes so long. This is the kind of art that you get immediate satisfaction. You don't have to wait days for the paint to dry and all this stuff, you know. All right, here we go. And you blow this like on an angle. Try to do one breath, but it's very hard to do. I should put green. Sorry I'm doing this with just two colors now. I mean, not two colors, but you know what I mean. Without, just all blues. So this one came out great. I like it a lot better than the other one. But you know, you put uh, resin on, everything looks great. black why is that happening I'm going to take uh, let's see I don't have anything to take it out of use my finger looks a little better maybe I'll do this one too Mucho better. I need to buy stock in these. <laughs> All right, now, let me see. Do I have any edges that I have to do? I think I see one over here. Do a little bit. And a little bit right there. And tab here. If you find yourself really wanting to paint the sides, you go right ahead. But to me, it's like, you know, it's you want to be able to see the, the drip. That's what I love about this. You get to see the drip. All right, here. Take a closer, closer look. The silver's not coming out as good as the black. Or the gold, rather. You know. This, I gotta blow a little bit on this angle right here. That should blend. All right. Add a little drip over here. Okay. Finito. Definitely a drip over here. So glad I caught that. All right, now this goes over here, out of sight, out of mind. And you always hope you don't drop it. <laughs> All right, clean up my mess. I could use a towel, but I like the wet. It really cleans it up nice. All right, let's do the third and fourth one basically at the same time. This will take up less time. I don't like to make um, too many, too long a video. Because, you know, I've had them really long and they say, oh, it's too long. You lose interest, so okay. Anyway. So, anyway, if you're looking for my songs, you'll find them under Janice. Uh, with my picture or, I don't know what I, I have somewhat a plant. 
And then um, I'm trying to get them all into my music by Janice Brown, but so far, no luck with YouTube. I didn't put them on YouTube. My publisher did. So, and in my last album, is Singer Songwriter, that's just songs I've written ages ago that I've always loved, but I never did anything with them. So I figured, well, if anybody listens to them and likes them, it's, I mean, I like them. But, you know, I don't count. But I do like my music. Not everybody likes it. Um, I don't write, I do write techno. Now, I, there is a movie out there called Rough Winds where they have one of my songs and it's called When Night Falls. And it's a techno acid one. And they wanted, you know, I told them they could use one of my songs. And um, I get paid for every time it's anybody watched the movie. I don't know if it's still on YouTube, but it was on the YouTube movies. It's called Rough Winds. But um, this is Finito. I'm going to put my lid on. Um, it's really like a do, 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 really like something you'd never think I would even write, you know. So I'm trying to do all four the same here. So because you want coasters, you want a set of four. And you want them all the same. Kind of hard to do them all the same when you're doing this type of art, but so far so good. Yeah, so movies, I'm in four movies, but one was called The Interview. They were interviewing a serial killer. I never saw it anywhere, so I don't know where it's at. Then Rescue Me, then Rough Winds. There's another one, I'll darn if I can't remember. And then I have um, two books, two serial killer books. Well, one was a serial killer, the other one had a ghost in it. One's called Paralyzed with Fear, and oh, that is definitely a serial killer novel, and that's on Amazon. And um, then the other one's Victoria. Now, Victoria, I haven't really talked much about it, I haven't done anything really with it or publicized it, um, hasn't much, done much on. Uh, Amazon, but you know, I don't go around promoting my stuff. This is the most I've promoted anything, is right right now, right here. People have been following me forever. They don't even know half the stuff I just got done saying. So, I, um, all right, let me get this here. Oops. I really enjoy doing movies, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. You know, you're talking a long day, and I'm talking 12 to 13 hours. Having to wait in between scenes, and it's like, uh, yeah, it's nice when you're getting big bucks, but when you're just getting paid by Paramount, I mean, I got a nice paycheck, but still, you never know, you know. All right, here we go. turn that but oh man turn these suckers really quick here You get the white cells when you blow too hard. And sometimes not any cells when you blow too little. It's like a really a vicious circle. I'm not too thrilled with the silver, I'll tell you right now. It's not interesting me interesting me at all. 
Look at that lady. You know, it's amazing when you can get things that look alike to be, especially four of them. There's some paint I have to put here on that edge. Yeah, it didn't go. It's hard to tell with this lighting where it's gone and where it's been and all that good stuff. Okay, let me blow some more of this. I'm going to sneeze. Yeah, see, I blew too hard. Now, I could have left the pitcher, the, the flower, right in the middle, but I didn't want it. I love when it drips over the side, you know what I mean? It's hard there. All right. Many times I'm getting high as a kite here. <laughs> if you blow it like that, believe me, you, you, hear, you feel it. Oh. I'll try and clean my straw at the same time here. All righty, well. I'll get down, let me just clean this up a little bit. Uh, the actual ones I just did, just gotta fix my drips. So, let me see what we got. I'm gonna use the stick. I have coffee sitting over here. Did I drink any of it? No. This has to have a little on this side right here. You can see where it ends. I don't like that. Alrighty. Perfect. Oops, my finger right there. Oh, I thought it hit right there, but it didn't. Thank goodness. Let's see what else I got here. More drips. Just use my finger. What the hey? What the hey, hey? Right. We're listening to Bob and Pat. They are police officers riding around in Minnesota. And it's really cool because they crack me up. He has such a rapport with the people there. It's amazing. They bring him Twinkies. <laughs> oh, whole guy eating Twinkies just cracks me up. And um, we, I think this side is perfect. Alright, make sure no more drippies. I'll smooth that out a little bit here. Let's see. But I'm not doing that. I'm not worried about the bottom. Half of it's covered up. Alright, that's good. Let me push this over here out of the way. Uh, whoa. It's got pain on me. I had a more pain. I mean, I don't know how. Alrighty. Uh huh. Okie dokie. Alright, 
that's good too. Alright, now, I don't like this in her ear either. But that'll, that'll improve because, um, look at this. I just dropped my, I had a towel on my lap. You'd never know, I, I never used it. All right, I'm gonna take you down. All right, there's the first one, beautiful. Second one, absolutely gorgeous. Third one, really beautiful. And fourth one, wow. The sun's starting to appear right there, see it? So when this has like light on it, wow, it's gonna be great. Oh, perfect. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and um, thank you new subscribers and I'll be back and do another set. All right, uh, in, in maybe a day or two. All right, bye-bye.